What's good, everyone? This your main correspondent, Alan Taylor. And uh, yeah, as you see, I'm not in the broadcast room, but I am outside getting me a little sunshine, things like that. And um, I definitely want to speak on a lot of the issues that are going on here and a lot of the problems that we're having with all this uh, sitting around here thinking that, you know, men are misogynistic or things like that, that, you know, we don't want to actually, you know, vote for women and things, you know what I'm saying? No, we want to vote for the best that we can get. And for people to come up and sit there and say that we have an issue with voting for women, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's truly disrespectful. Now, we've already been highly disrespected by what used to be our former president, uh, Barack Obama, you know, and My issue is, is that we want to sit around here and act like this thing didn't happen. Now, this man came out and, you know, was just totally on the trope of the situation to where, yes, uh, the black community has had its situations and things like that when it comes to, you know, black women having to, you know, uh, do things for the black community ever since slavery. And I get that. But the thing of this is, is that those days and times are gone now. Black men, we have our own issues and our own things that we need. You know what I'm saying? When Ice Cube uh, tried to present that bill with Trump some years back and things like that, and he went and he talked to the ladies of the black community and stuff, and they told him, well, you know, well, what's, what, what's in that policy for black women? And Ice Cube sat there and he had that baffled look upon his face and he was like, what the fuck are you talking about, bitch? You know what I'm saying? Uh, this is for black people, period. Are black women not black people? And they clearly said Lisa Ray and Vivica and all. They clearly said that no, no, no. We, we have our own agendas. We have That was the point right there. Ding, ding, ding that they have their own agendas. And I'm sorry, but if we're gonna play this separation game within the black African American race between the men and the women, then so be it. So be, if it has to be that way, if we can't just be a whole unit and things like that, then okay. But we can no longer stand by and tolerate this situation to where we're disrespected as men. We have our own tangibles and things that we need as men too, and we're gonna get them. From here on out, we're going to get them. No longer are we going to stand by and allow this situation to go on. It's not going to keep happening. And these are just the facts. You know what I'm saying? You know, mad love to everybody out there. Hopefully you actually take this uh, this election serious. And, th and also your local elections. Definitely that. And make sure that you do the right thing by your people, your family, your loved ones, and protect yourself at all times. And that, my friends, is the bottom line.